Obviously, it's going to take a little longer com for commercial vehicles to get stopped, which can contribute to the amount of crashes that we're seeing uh, on Ohio's roadways. In the first six months of 2009, there were 48 fatal crashes involving heavy trucks. And July through December, the number rose to 71 fatalities involving commercial vehicles. Was it more dangerous when the speed limit was 55 and 65? In my opinion, yes. Bruchall drives a semi through the Midwest, and Chris Oxier drives a commercial vehicle around central Ohio. A normal distance of 55 is anywhere between 12 to 15 seconds, but I don't know with the speed limit going up. You know, your reaction time could go anywhere between 5 to 10 seconds. OSP says cars traveling 65 miles an hour travel 142 feet from the time you move your foot from the accelerator to the brake. A truck travels 171 feet before the driver gets to his brakes, and at 80,000 pounds, their stopping time is much longer. So with the speed limit at 65 now, you know, you've got an increased stopping distance, you know, where the truck's going to have to have a little more room between him and the vehicle in front of him. He should know, for 20 years, he's inspected big rigs. Right one. OSP crash statistics show 119 fatal crashes for trucks in 2009, and 2010 is not far behind with 109 fatalities, not counting December. Tomorrow, we'll dig deeper into the statistics and whether speed is the only factor for these crashes. In Columbus, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.